as much as it pains me to say this, is Howie Roseman smarter than what we give him credit for? You guys, we have to discuss something. Shout out to your boy. I appreciate y'all for being here. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. But we have to discuss, we have to discuss something very important. Excuse me. We have to discuss the wide receiver position. The wide receiver position is at such a premium during this era of the NFL. There was a point in time where the running back position was at a premium. You couldn't have a team without a star running back. You couldn't have a team or your team wouldn't be successful without a dominant run game or a dominant bell cow running back. That was the early 2000s and the 90s and beyond. But as we start to transition into this new era of the NFL, this new pass happy style of play in the NFL, you're beginning to see wide receivers take precedence above the running back. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but we have to discuss the type of money that's being thrown around at these wide receivers. Now, let's be totally frank. The Philadelphia Eagles are making it very clear they're not going to spend big money on a wide receiver this offseason as it presently stands. You can tell by their moves. You can tell by the way they've conducted themselves through our free agency. You can tell because we're always supposedly in the conversation for guys, but we never pull the trigger. And on top of that, you can tell because we're always trying to give out one-year deals to guys. And most of these guys ain't just taking one-year deals. They ain't taking no shorts. But I digress. When you think about some of these guys like Stefan Diggs, who has got a new deal, you think about you think about guys like Tyreek Hills who got a new deal. Tyreek Hills making an average of thirty million uh, this coming season. Devontae Adams making an average of twenty eight million. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins who had his contract from a couple seasons ago making an average of twenty seven point two million. Stephon Diggs signed his new deal, averaging about twenty four million a year. DJ Moore for the Panthers averaging twenty point six million a year. Keenan Allen twenty million a year. Amari Cooper twenty million a year. Chris Godwin twenty million a year. Mike Williams. 20 million a year. Brandon Cooks, 19.8 million a year. And I can go on and on. But when you think about the most recent contracts that got signed this past offseason, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Allen Robinson, Stefan Diggs, um, Mike Williams, Chris Godwin. When you think about all those contracts, Brandon Cooks, Christian Kirk, most notably, who pretty much tipped the scales at the very beginning of free agency. You have to think about why the Philadelphia Eagles aren't pulling the trigger. And are they up to something? Is Harry Roseman actually much smarter than what we give him credit for? Is he actually playing the long game when it comes to the wide receiver position? Because you can dump so much money at the wide receiver position. You can do it. But when you think about it from this perspective, you'll have so much money locked up into your star quarterback, 40 plus million a year. Then you think about how much money you'll have locked up in your star wide receiver, maybe 20 to 25 plus million dollars a year, million dollars a year, depending on his standing or depending on how the market shifts. But that's a lot of money to have tied up in just two positions. And when you think about it from that perspective, that quarterback and that wide receiver better be absolutely tremendous. They better be top of the line, top flight, because if they're not, you're potentially lacking up too much money in two positions and you're not getting enough on your return. So that begs the question, are the Philadelphia Eagles actually making the right decision by being patient with their money and actually investing in the draft when in reality you're only going to have to owe a super talented young wide receiver maybe four, five, maybe six million a year, depending on how the negotiations go. But when you think about it from that perspective, you're getting top tier talent in the draft. And of course, you're banking on them being tremendous when they first get into the league. You know that you know ultimately you're rolling the dice on that young talent translating to the NFL without a hitch. But when you think about it from the books perspective, you're saving a lot of money. You're saving about 15 to 20 million at the wide receiver position, and you're still maybe getting the same amount of production or the same amount of talent, depending on how dominant the rookie comes into the NFL. But that's something to think about, you guys. As much as we want the Eagles to pull the trigger on these big-name wide receivers, you got to pay to play. And I'm not mad at these wide receivers getting their money. I'm all about people getting paid. It is what it is. If the market dictates it, get your coins, my brother. And I'm all about doing the, doing what's best for the Philadelphia Eagles as an organization. And I'm all about taking risk. No risk and no biscuit, as Bruce Arians always says. But we have to continue to weigh these options. We have to continue to weigh things as they progress. And is it the best thing for the Philadelphia Eagles to spend 20 to $30 million on a wide receiver right now, especially if they don't know if Jalen Hurts is the quarterback? I don't know. But I want you guys to be the judge. Comment below and tell me what you guys think about what I just discussed. Are the Eagles smart for actually being patient with their money and not dominating most of their cap space, 
cap space with just the wide receiver position? Are they smart for trying to build through the draft and bet on young talent and trying to get it for the low instead of dedicating so much money, again, to the wide receiver position through free agency or through trades? Because, again, a lot of people want to trade for guys like, you know, uh, Debo Samuel, uh, Terry McLaurin, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf. I know you guys want us to trade for those guys. And all those guys have said, except for D.K., um, all those guys I said, A.J. Brown, Debo, Debo Samuel, and Terry McLaurin, they made it very clear. They're not going to play or not going to show up for training camp or, or off-season workouts until they get a new deal done. And I'm not mad about that. These guys sacrifice a lot. These guys put their bodies on the line. Get your money, my brother. But we got to understand that you got to pay to play. And all these young guys that we want to trade for, all the Terry McLaurins, the Debo Samuels, the A.J. Browns of the world, if you want those guys, if you want to trade for those guys, we're going to have to pay them. And I don't think Harry Roseman is prepared to pay those guys right now. But again, comment below and tell me your thoughts. I'm your humble host, Tone Dishes the Second from Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.